Hey, so with this new rule change on the prior relevant work and the limitation now to a five-year look back versus a 15-year look back, question arose, really good question. We were all wondering this, I think. Well, the five years, does that go back? Does that start at the day I applied and go back? Does it start at the day I, le I alleged I was disabled and go back? Um, so when does it start? When does it end? That kind of thing. So past relevant work. And I'm, I'm going to show you this page. This is a very voluminous page. It talks about far more than this. And we'll get into some of that in a different video. Um, it's some of those work-related physical, and I'm not sure if there's mental on here, tasks and what they really mean Uh when they figure these out to determine your RFC, residual functional capacity, but that's separate. So let's just figure this out. When you file your past relevant work, when they're going to be able to go back five years, fortunately, that date up until that they can, they start the, the most recent period of that five years is, is generally the date of, adju of adjudication. So if you're on initial, the day they decide your initial is the end of the five years and they have to go five years forward or backwards, I should say, um, into the past from that date. So what could have been within your five-year period when you applied, if they decide your case a year later on initial even, that if that job ended like four and a half years ago and you had no other jobs, bingo, that job's gone. Now you can't be held to have any transferable skills from past relevant work because there was no past relevant work within the last five years uh, for, at the time you were adjudicated. So that's a really great thing. Um, I hate to say it this way, but for some people, the delays and slowness going on these last few years with the SSA, last two or three years, it's, it could almost be a blessing for some of you. Um, and, and I know that doesn't sound right <laughs> at all. Okay, date of adjudication. So let's say you 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 get denied on initial and then you're on reconsideration. Another year goes by. Now, and let's say that you, you, know, you had past relevant work on the day of the adjudication during initial that was a denial. Now you're at recon. They uh, will have to consider a new date. And then if it's an ALJ hearing, same thing. So the five years is gonna move with you. And eventually, if you're not working SGA, that there's going to be no, for some of you, no past relevant work from which they could other, see if you could still do it. That's the step four. Or see if you could transfer uh, valuable skills to another less arduous job, you know, when they do step five. Okay. Now there is a couple of exceptions and I'm not gonna go into like widow, widower and all this thing, but most of it's this way. Um, if you're, this is a difference. If your date last insured is in the past, that's gonna stop the scrolling forward. So, and you know how I talk about date last insured. I'm like, oh, don't even let your date last insured expire. There's Easy ways for most disabled people to stop that from happening. If your date last insured, so this means you've certainly not worked in five years, uh, your DLI is in the past, that's when it says that your five-year period will end on that date. So it'll be that date and going back five years. So it's not going to continue to scroll with you. That is an interesting um, additional reason why it's really good to keep your DLI current prospective in the future. And we have videos on that and on how the very most minuscule amount of work uh, can, can do that for you. And you never have to worry about your DLI being in the past. So just throwing that out there. I will say that they go on to tell you about, I may as well just mention them. The relevant period will end on uh, for title two widower widowers or surviving divorce spouse benefits um that is if the prescribed period has not expired it will be the date of adjudication uh for the same thing if the 
prescribed period has not has expired, it would be the last day of the PP, which kind of relates to the fact that if your DLI has, you know, it's like a statute of limitations almost. If your DLI had expired, your relevant period is going to end on your DLI. Same with the PP uh, prescribed period. For a Title II full retirement age that is in the past, it'll be the day before the attainment of full retirement age. So that's if you have one of those, you know, late in life SSD claims, um, you know, while you're collecting or, or you're hoping to collect or whatever, and you have an SSD claim while you're in the retirement age arena, um, your past relevant work five-year look back will be the day before the attainment of the FRA. And just to remind you, Past relevant work also has to be SGA. So if it's not SGA, and of course you don't want you don't want to work SGA, you probably can't work SGA if you're asserting disability. If you're working under SGA, that's not going to ruin this for you. You know your 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 past relevant work period will not include that work anyway. So feel free, and it won't drag out your period either that they can look back. So um, that's good. They go on about childhood disability benef uh, beneficiaries, all these other re-entitlement claims for children. SSI adults, SSI. The ones we we're talking about with social security, this is SSI, not social security. Your past relevant work last date will be the date of adjudication. So it's just like it is for uh, a Title II person, generally speaking, whose DLI has not passed. And of course, in SSA, SSI, there is no DLI. So that wouldn't be um, the issue for that one. And for continuing disability reviews, same thing, guys, for both Title II, Social Security, and SSI, the date of the CDR adjudication. So that's going to move with you, too. That's awesome. Okay. I will paste the link to this in the description there's a lot of good stuff in here. This just came out July 26th. It is post the new rule with past relevant work. So, and I can see in here already that a lot of the descriptions of some of these work-related tasks or, or capacities or limitations are relevant to the new work history report they published also in July. All righty, I will talk to you guys later. I hope this is uh, informative for those of you who have a pending case and wanna know when is that past relevant work going to be for you? What is that period? All right. Bye now.